And we are live. Hey everyone, my name is Prince, and welcome to Black Ops 3. Oh, it feels good to say that. That feels good. Oh, what is going on now? This is not... Alright, let me, let me tell you a funny story. Anyone who's currently in here, um, who got in here early. Hey, Kai. How's it going? Um... I'm in the middle of doing a big file delete, uh, clear up some space because my editing software has a bunch of like cache uh, files that it keeps from like media and timelines and stuff. So occasionally you have to do a, like a big delete. And it keeps stopping because of an error that reads, and I'm not joking you, error whatever series of numbers, the file exists. Yeah, I know the file exists. Funnily enough, that's why I'm trying to delete it. Like, how is that an error? I'm just fucking telling you to delete a file. Is that really so fucking difficult? There's literally nothing wrong with, with, like, the files. It just says, error. The file you're trying to delete exists. And I'm like, yeah. Y yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's why I'm trying to delete it. Because it exists, and I don't want it to exist anymore. Honestly, I'll leave that running. It's probably going to uh, error out and say another file exists. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first of uh, our Black Ops 3 zombie streams. I'm so, so fucking hyped to be doing these. Because, the thing is, it's very, it's actually quite rare that... I end up streaming something that I'm genuinely really, really passionate about. Apart from Minecraft, I think. I don't really think I've streamed anything. Um. That. Like. Oh, Skyrim, of course. How can I f fucking forget about Skyrim? Um. But yeah. Um. It's very. It's quite rare that I stream things that are really. That I'm really passionate about. Um. And because it's usually that I'm streaming brand new games that I want to get out quickly and that, you know, I don't have time to make videos on because, you know, videos I make take a while to edit. And by the time I've got out one video, everyone else has already done a full playthrough video. Um, but yeah, so it's rare that I play a game that I'm this passionate about, but I am, it, it is, Black Ops 3 is probably one of the games that I am very, very passionate about. Specifically, zombies, obviously. Although, everything else in Black Ops 3 isn't bad either. I'm glad to... I'm glad to hear that, Kai. Um, worked hard on that video, and I think it came out really, really good. Again, if you haven't already, um... I put a video... Uh, uh, I put a video out today, um... Talking about the eye colors of the zombies in COD Zombies and explaining what they all mean and stuff. Pretty good video. It turned out really well. Um, go check it out. But, um, I don't know why I'm waiting for this bloody file thing. It literally makes no difference whatsoever. Um, I'll just minimize that because I, I can't be asked to keep keeping an eye on it. And I'm going to tab back in, and I think we're going to head straight in. So, into zombies, and here we are. Let's check out uh, today's Newton's cookbook recipes. I can't get any of them. Fantastic. Right. So, um, welcome, everyone, to Black Ops 3 Zombies. Arguably the best zombies ever made. And, yeah, it's it's nice to be here. It's very, I'm very, very happy to be here and streaming this, like I said, because this is something that I really do have fun streaming, like, well, I have fun playing. I, I'm... It just dragged me out of Black Ops 3 because it interrupted again and was like, the file exists. How, can, can you, like, fuck off? Jesus. See, this is why I'm like, um, can you, can you not do it while I'm streaming? <laughs> um, but yeah, so very, very glad to be here. 
Um, sorry, apologies for seeming distracted. Uh, right. It's the bloody file thing. It dragged me out. <clears throat> God. Much better. All right. So, um, let me briefly check through some shit. Making sure nothing should have changed since the last time I played. I did have a brief game to do, like, an audio test. Um, um, phone, obey me. <laughs> Ira, <laughs> funny. Also, hello, Ira. Hey, Jacobs. Right, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Ops 3 Zombies. This is a game that's very, very, very close to my heart. I have put many, many, many hours into this game, although this is the PC version, which is more stable and better in pretty much every single way. Um, currently, on... Th this is... Right, let me explain. This is basically... Because you guys know, um, I'm, I play games, obviously, you know, I play games for the channel, but there's not actually a lot of competitive games or games that require skill that I am actually good at. This, zombies in general, specifically Black Ops 3, although, you know, the skills are mostly transferable, is, I'd say, the, the game that I am the best at skill wise so i'm genuinely going to be trying here because it's very rare that i actually get to sort of show off to you guys and be like oh look at how how good of a gamer i am and having said that i guarantee you i'm going to eat my words tonight um but regardless we're going to uh, we're going to get straight into this i think um so quick rundown for anyone who's never seen, um, never seen COD Zombies before, hello Fitz, uh, you're in for a treat, because, um, I spoke to a friend of mine who's here today in chat, um, oh yeah, Fitz, you absolutely fucking terrified me, um, I spoke to a friend of mine not too long ago, and they knew about Call of Duty, but they had absolutely no idea that COD Zombies had any story to it at all. And I'm sure some of you may not as well. COD Zombies, and you guys know I'm a big fan of, you know, elaborate and amazing stories. COD Zombies has one of the most in-depth stories you will find in any video game franchise. This is the sort of... It's the, short, it's the same sort of story... As something like FNAF, where people have been theorizing over it for years since it came out. And that's what I love about it. So, it's a very awesome uh, story. Here in Black Ops 3, it was the first zombies, um, the first game that included zombies that actually include a level up system. On Xbox, which is the version of Black Ops 3 that I had up until like three months ago... I got to Prestige Master, which means that I went through levels 0 to 35 10 times over. And I'm pretty sure I got to, like, level 200. Right now, obviously, I'm on the PC version, so I had to start again. I'm currently Prestige 2, level 31. So, um, in Black Ops 3, uh, we've got, we've also got a couple of first-time things as well that we've never seen in Zombies before, which is weapon kits, so customizable weapons, and gobble gums, which are candies that you can get in-game that give you special bonuses. Um, I might change some of these for the game that we're about to do. I do not need Phoenix up because that is multiplayer only. Um... Yes, I'll get Immolation. Um. Uh. Don't really need Alchemical. Hmm. Fuck it, I'll put that on as well. I'll explain, um. Everything that's going on. 
uh, as we get in. So, I thought, considering we probably have a few first-timers in here today, um, that we'd start off with something simple. I think what I'm going to do, first off, let me showcase to you guys all of the amazing maps that we have to offer, because I was talking about it on the Minecraft stream yesterday. Black Ops 3 actually has the most amount of maps out of any Zombies game ever made, even to this day, I'm pretty sure. World at War had four maps. Black Ops 1 had... Four, and then four, and then... T I, I want to say it had 11, actually. Count them off my head. Five, Kino. Uh, Ascension. Call the Dead. Shang, Moon, and then, yeah, it had 10. Um, so Black Ops 1 had 10. Black Ops 2, I want to say, had the first four, then two, then two again. So that had nine. No, I think that had 10 as well, yeah. Black Ops 3 has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different Zombies maps. All for us to play. Each one different, each one offering a beautiful and terrifying new experience. So, I think we're going to start off today with something pretty simple to get everyone uh, up to speed. Those of you who haven't seen Zombies before, as to what it's about and sort of you know, just serve as a decent introduction, I guess. And then, I think we're going to move on to, um... We're going to go in chronological order, so you guys can sort of see how Zombies has progressed throughout, uh, throughout the years, because we have the main sort of maps that were part of the Black Ops 3 DLC season, and then we have Zombie Chronicles, which are all of the remasters from all of the old games. So, today, we're going to be starting off by playing a classic remaster of a very, very good map, which is The Giant, which is a remaster of Darice, which is one of the most popular Zombies maps of all time. Not very big, not very complicated, but still really fun to play. I'd say this is probably the simplest, yet most enjoyable Zombies map, if I had to pin it as something like that. Now, uh, we're going to be streaming for three hours, obviously, same as usual. If I have a good game, this one game will probably last the entire three hours. If I have a bad game, then we could probably move on to a different map before the end of the stream. Now, something cool that I've done, uh, you guys will probably notice, obviously, um, I've got a new, uh, stream background, as I have for each game that I play, but, um, I've actually done it so that it's configurable for whatever map we're playing. So, say, obviously, we're about to play the giant, I actually have a background for the giant, and you see it's all changed colors and everything, and the background is the giant, so, yeah. Owen's sending me TikToks, how dare he. Um, so because you're playing the giant, I'm, uh, quickly going to, because I've also got them in a post-it note, this is very messy and very... Uh, unprofessional, but you guys know that's how I roll. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Da, 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 da. Chilling on the giant. Copy that and slap that in the title. And I've made thumbnails for the different maps as well. And boom, 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 and the giant. There we go. Bam. So now everyone who clicks on the stream can see what we're playing, what map we're playing. So everything else was just for the start of the stream. So I've messed you around enough. You're all excited to see some gameplay. Let's hop right into this and let me show you a game that I am fucking passionate about. Also, um, I'm making a rule now. Um, 
Well, in fairness, not many people have commented on the video yet, Kai, but... Oh, yeah, and we have the opening cutscene as well. I probably ought to talk in part of this, otherwise I'm probably going to get copyrighted for it. There's Richtofen, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Ko. Again, this won't make a lot of sense to a lot of people. Funny thing, um, for those of you who don't know, I actually recreated this entire opening cutscene in Gmod. That, um, that video is still up on my channel. There's actually two different versions of it. There's just the original recreation, and, um, and... Then I did, like, a side-by-side -side version of it, where I put, like, the original on one side and, uh, my recreation on the right. So, if you're interested in that, then, uh, go find it on my channel. Uh, you just type in, like, the giant, uh, cutscene Gmod recreation or something. Hello, Entek. Yeah, he just doesn't care. So, Ultimus Richtofen opens up the door, and there's the man himself. He looks... I'll tell you what, Richtofen, Ultimus Richtofen make a great joker, and there's Primus Richtofen! It's like, hello, my other self... Oh, I'm dead now. Damn it, Richtofen, I thought we were done with and he's there with the blood vials. <laughs> Gonna be doing a lot of that throughout Black Ops 3. I do only to secure a better tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see if we live to see. Oh, the crew. I miss them. I really do. To this day. Right, with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. Oh, so I hope the audio was alright. I did a brief test just to make sure it was all all, all alright. I hope it wasn't too quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Doris. We're playing as Nikolai today, it would seem. That foul, stinking, rotten German! He was here. Now he's gone? He will pay for what he has done. Mark my words. Ah, oh, never gets old. So, we're here. Now, I'm making it a rule. Um, if anyone has any literally any questions because like i said we have a few people who've never seen zombies before in the chat um any questions whatsoever ask them in the chat about the storyline because the, there's a lot of questions that i'm sure people have about the storyline already who haven't experienced it before um the storyline the gameplay absolutely anything ask it in chat doesn't matter if you think it's stupid, and I promise you I will answer it. Because that is uh, something I'm looking forward to in these streams, is introducing more people, those of you who haven't experienced zombies before, to zombies. So, zombies are quite weak at the minute, so usually we got the starting pistol, which is also pretty weak. Get the maximum amount of points, it's usually four shots, and then a knife. We can try and... Yeah, shoot two zombies with the same four bullets. So confusion. I must remember my mission. Why I am here. The enemy war machine must be destroyed. I still don't know what he means by that quote, because I'm pretty sure they weren't like I don't know what he's referring to when he says the enemy war machine. It might mean the the big giant over there. I love it how, like, I was just like, oh yeah, by the way, there's a giant robot in the background, and I'm sure some people would be like, wait, what the fuck is that? Is Origins really this- oh, this is fun, it's only like a, a half Q&A, half gameplay. Is Origins really the start of the entire plot? Not really. 
Right, so now that I've wasted a bullet there, you, you can usually get away with doing five on round two. There we go. Origins is the start of... I guess if you divide zombies up into, like, arcs or seasons, that would be, like, the beginning of season two, probably. Um... Oh, God. Ah, and we have the first drop. This is a double points, is, is very evident. There we go. So we've got 3k points. We need to start opening up some doors. So that light over there is where we want to be heading towards. So let's go... Go. Actually, I've just remembered. If I'm gonna do the strategy that I was thinking of, then we need to open this door. Right. So we have a gobble gun machine here. Spin that for free. But for now, I'm gonna get this. This is a war weapon. And this is a shotgun. Bam. But yeah, Origins is more of like the start of an, a different arc. Because... Origins is in a different universe. Bam. Bam. Alright, so let's spin the gobble gun machine, see what we get. I'll take that. So this is anywhere but here. You can activate it like that, and you it allows you to teleport to a random location. So if, for any reason, we need to make a quick emergency getaway, that is going to be very helpful. <sighs> I missed. Right. Um, leave a few zombies. Start opening up. I was hoping that was going to be quick revive, but no. Right. So this right here, this is a perk machine. They are drinks that give us special abilities. This is Mule Kick. Not the best perk machine. Um, this is a perk machine that lets you hold three guns. In zombies, you can usually only hold two guns. Can you theoretically survive in, what, just the spawn room? Not for very long. People do do that. They do do spawn room challenges, but um, it's very, very difficult. Um, so yeah, Mule Kick lets you hold uh, three weapons. It's not the worst perk, but it's not the best. The one we want is Quick Revive, which uh, lets us uh, get back up again if the zombies kill us. Right, so we're gonna... Yeah, fuck it, we'll open up this door. Lovely place. So we hop down here, and this is the mystery box. This is our lifeblood. First we have the power. Let there be light. I was a uh, god, quoting gods, quoting Wheatley, was quoting gods. Spooky. Ideal perk setup for rookies. Oh, that's a that's a it's a good question. I'm going to be making a video talking about why a certain perk is actually bad in terms of gameplay, but... I mean... You've got, like, the essentials, which are Quick Revive, Juggernog, and Speed Cola. And say... It depends what game you're playing, obviously. You know, some perks are in some games and some are in others. So, the mystery box... We open it up, we spin it, and it gives us a random weapon. Let's see what it gives us. Not a bad start. Weevil is not very, uh, not very strong, but it's a good point weapon. It's a bit too strong right now. So if we go through here, um, now these doors were open. They were closed before. What's over here? Ah, Juggernog. This is uh, one of the essential perks. You've got to have this at all times. Because this ups your health, so instead of uh, three hits from a zombie, 
kills you. This makes it so that it's about five, roughly, there or thereabouts. So now we just need to build up some points and, uh, yeah, get to, get to hitting the box and stuff. Hitting the box. There are two main things we want. Um... Ooh, we have another drop. This is an insta-kill. Insta and as you could probably tell, it, it means that literally any attack you do on a zombie, whether it's a bullet, a knife, literally anything, it insta-kills them. It's very, very helpful. In pretty much every round. Any round and every round. This is helpful, obviously. Come on. There we go. Right. Um, trying to think what we should do. I'm trying because part of me wants to go like really hardcore and try and do the, the high round strategy I always do, which we probably will end up doing, but you know, there's no reason we can't uh, take things slow. It's, you know, we got three hours. Um... Could do with trying to find quick revive actually is it in there nope that's speed cola which we also want that's another essential perk it lets us reload quicker which is very helpful obviously now where is quick revive then is it up hold on is it up there and i've missed it i think it might be actually Run, 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 run. So go up here. Aha! Here it is! Quick revive. Cute little machine. So we buy it. 500 points. And then we get a nice little icon in the bottom left. And we can actually... Yep, get 100 points by uh, kneeling down at the bottom of it there. And that is basically... Um, it's like a, a reference to the fact that sometimes, you know, you find change un underneath, uh, like, vending machines and stuff, so. Um, I think I may as well just hit the box, I think. It's only round four. The Manor War. I'll take that. Oh, and the Nuketown camo glows. Again, that's something that isn't on console. I'm pretty sure when you put the Nuketown camo on stuff on console, it didn't glow like this. Wow, this looks really cool. Didn't expect it to look this cool. So, this is a pretty decent weapon. Only thing that's slightly bad about it is that it's got a slightly slower rate of fire than you would have thought. It's like a LMG. I don't really know why light, like, LMGs are called light machine guns, because they're not light at all. They're, like, heavy and bulky, and they've got plenty of ammo. Like, they should be heavy machine guns. It's a really fucking backwards name. Might as well spin the box again. Oh. Now that we don't want. The SVG-100. Sniper. As you would expect, snipers are pretty terrible. Although there is a sniper in this in this uh, in this version of zombies that is very very good. It's called the Dracon. Now I'm wondering. Okay, not yet. Also, there's a plane on top of there. That's, uh, that's something to do with the story. Basically, um, this map, Doris, uh, very important map in the zombie storyline, because this was basically, if I remember correctly, the main headquarters of Group 935. Um, and they were an organization who were studying this stuff called Element 115. Very, very powerful. Um, and this was, like, their main facility. This is in Germany. And a lot of horrible stuff happened here. But this 
Ah, we have another drop. This is a max ammo. And this, this is the drop you want. There is never a point where this drop is not valuable. This is what people pray for on high rounds. Um, but this, this isn't actually the, oh god, I need to be careful. Again, sometimes I will just go absolutely fucking silent if I need to concentrate. But this isn't actually the original version of Doris. This is what's called a fracture. And, uh... The whole, uh, everything in the zombies storyline is to do, it didn't start off as complicated as this, obviously, but it eventually got to the point where it's dealing with all sorts of stuff to do with, like, multiverses and different dimensions and stuff. And basically, as I understand it, this version of Doris is actually, fuck off. Oh wow, I got the Weevil to level 2. It's a bit weird because, um... You can't actually, you don't have all of the weapons unlocked and able to level up from the beginning. You have to level up to a certain level in order to gain experience on said weapons. And uh, the Weevil is quite a high XP requirement, even though it's not really the best of weapons. So that's why I haven't got it to level 2 before, clearly. Um... But this version of Doris is in a different universe from the original, and it's it's called a fracture, basically. And the fracture basically happens when uh, someone messes with time, or it can just happen um, by people using teleporters, because teleporters use Element 115 as a power source, and Element 115 is very... The use of it, the manipulation of 115, is very detrimental to the universe. So, when you use element 115, it can cause a few problems. Can you not come behind me, please? It's very rude. Oh, con yeah, I got contagious camo on the weevil. It looks like literal vomit. Right, um... If we kill one more zombie, we can get enough of a jug, actually. And Mule Kick is active now, because we turned on the power. Fine! Don't give me the change, Mule Kick. Piece of shit. Favourite maps? Now that is a good question, Fitz. Let me think. Oh, yes. And we have double tap here. Double tap 2.0. And this makes it so that every bullet you fire splits into two bullets. And you fire quicker. So it's more than doubles your strength, basically, of your weapons. Right. Um, where's Jug? Jug's down here, isn't it? Excuse me. Grab Jug. And now I feel a tad bit safer. Right, um, favorite maps, um, I don't know, there's too many good ones to choose from, like, I don't think I could pick a favorite map. Favorite map from Black Ops 3, again, I don't know if I could choose because they're all really good, like, every map of Black Ops 3 is really, really good, although I have differing opinions than a lot of different people. Like, a lot of people uh, have De Eisendrak, which is the map that came after this, as, like, some people count De Eisendrak as the best map ever made, and personally, I do not share in that opinion at all. I find De Eisen kind of boring, honestly. It's not necessarily four times damage, it's... It's two times the damage, but, and then faster damage, so it's two times and faster, so I don't know if that specifically equals double damage, but it's around that. Um, I don't know why I'm keeping these, just fun kill them. Um, my favourite maps from, uh... I'd say probably my favourite map from 
Black Ops. Wow, really? Still? Um, my favorite map from Black Ops 3 is probably, funnily enough, the map is, is again, Mr. Hot Take. Um, probably actually the map that everyone thinks is the worst out of all the Black Ops 3 maps, and that is Zetsubo no Shima. It's a map set on an island, uh, set up, focused all around nature and the horrors of it. And it's, it's, I love it. It's a really, really good map. It's really creative. There's tons of stuff for you to do, so it's very rare that you get bored. The Easter egg quest line is really fun, and it's actually the only one I've ever done. Um, so it kind of has a special place in my heart. And I'm sure when I say Easter egg quest line, there will be at least one of you who doesn't know what I'm talking about. So, it didn't happen originally, because originally in Zombies, um, the, the goal was to simply survive as long as you can. Ooh. Now, this is what's called a nuke. You, uh, you touch this, and basically every zombie currently on the map dies, and you get 400 points for it. I'm not gonna get that. Oh, we got another one. Um, because that's quite a big waste of points. And another one! My god! Drops galore! So we're not gonna get the nuke. This is a carpenter, which we will get. That repairs all of the barricades on the map. And this is a death machine. And that basically gives you a minigun, which I'm also not gonna get, because it's quite a waste of points. And the reason that's blue and the others are green is because uh, green drops tend to affect everyone, whereas blue drops, they just affect the person that picks them up. Um, but yeah, so Easter eggs. It wasn't a thing originally, because zombies just started off as something, you know, simple, just survive as long as you can. Um... But eventually, when, you know, they realized that everyone was loving it and everyone was loving the story that they were starting to introduce, they introduced these things called Easter eggs, which are uh, quest lines, basically, hidden hidden quest lines in each map where you have to do a, a certain number of steps to do, basically, what the characters do in the map within the story. Like, um, for instance... Playing, uh, playing this map, you could just hang out in the spawn room and not leave. But within the story of the events of this map, uh, the characters that you're playing as do a certain thing, and doing the Easter egg is basically doing that thing. Um, now, all of the others on Black Ops 3 are very complex, and some of them you can't even do alone. Like, you literally have to have other players in order to be able to do it. The one on the giant is very simple, and it doesn't have an ending cutscene, unfortunately. Um, which I'm kind of a bit miffed about, because, like, um, of all the maps that deserved a proper easter egg, I think this one was probably one of them. Then again, it's a pretty small map, so it's kind of difficult to squeeze an easter egg onto this map. Then again... Uh, there is a custom map, because on Black Ops 3 you can actually get custom maps that other players have made. Uh, someone made a map called Doris Declassified, or Reclassified, I can't remember which one it is. Um, and it features a full easter egg, and I'm not sure if it includes an ending cutscene, I think that might be a bit much even for custom maps. Um... But I will be doing a video on that at some point, so, um... So, yeah, look out for that sometime soon. Um... Right, um... So, but yeah, there is an easter egg on this map, and we can do it. It's very, very simple. It's literally one step. The steps can be anything from shooting something, from f to finding a code, building something, uh, you know, killing something, collecting a certain number of things. Um, the easter egg in Zetsubo is really, really cool. Right, what do we, what do we need to do now? I guess we could, we don't really have enough points to do anything else. I guess we could spin the box. Again, there are two things that we want. 
We want a certain special type of grenade. And he's just giving me the SVG again. I swear to God, the box has been so mean to me recently. It's given me the same weapons twice so many fucking times. It's unbelievable. But, um... <laughs> Hello. You're fast, aren't you? Let's spin the box again. We might as well. Um... What was I saying? Ah, that's the Gorgon. That is an LMG, and it is bloody awful. It's got a slower fire, uh, a slower fire rate than the Man of War. It's literally like, da 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 da. It's the most accurate I can get. <laughs> All right, come on, box. Give me something really good. Come on, please, the viewers. And that is not something very good. So... Whenever you get a teddy bear, the box goes bye-bye, and it moves to a different spot on the map. You do get your 950 points back, though. That's, you know, quite considerate. I'm tired of you making so much noise. Fuck off. Ow. Now you're fast. No, fuck off. Teaching everyone to gamble, yes. And now it's in a place that I don't have open. Isn't that just fantastic? Ah. Through here. And it's right. Oh, no, it's not here. It's, it's through here. It's in there. Right, well, I guess we've got to build up some... Ow! Yeah, occasionally zombies can do that when your weapon's not powerful enough. Their heads will just, like, fall off, but they'll still be running. Finally! Wondered why it took so long. So here we have the special round of the giant, which is... Hellhound! Zombie dogs! Bad doggies. They're pretty weak right now. Literally just a single bullet. And they drop a max ammo at the end of the round, so that's very helpful. Yeah, in fairness, Fitz, they used to be a lot worse. Like, the dogs in, in this game are, like, piss easy compared to the ones in the older games. So that'll happen every couple of rounds. So we have, um... Stable source of ammo. But yeah, Black Ops 3, the guns are very strong in Black Ops 3. Like, literally every gun is really strong. If you look at the older games, like, World at War and Black Ops 1, the guns are fucking pea shooters. Like, they do not even kill. It's, it's, it's pitiful. See, you can see the Weevil starting to get a bit weaker now, which means we get more points. Because every bullet gives us 10 points. And we get we go for headshots, it gives us 100 points. And also, uh, if it was World at War or Black Ops 1, you would not be knifing on round 8. Because let's just say that World at War and Black Ops 1, the movement was very jank. Like, in World at War, when you knifed a zombie, like... The, the animation, like, sucked you into them, and they were able to basically get a free hit on you. So, knifing on World at War is a terrible idea. Yeah, you can see it's starting to get a lot weaker now. Right. 5k points. Let's start opening up and doing the main thing on this map, which is to open pack punch Although, we will get Speed Cola, because I feel safer with the base 3 perks. Yeah, um, funnily enough, the announcer and everything is actually a thing to do with the law. Um, it's weird, though, because right now, um, it's not actually revealed who's in control of the zombies. This is a great point to plug the video that actually went up today, 
Uh, ah, yes, you can see with Speed Cola, re we reload very quickly. Bam. Man of War level 2. The carpenter. Um, but yeah, today I published a video talking about the eye colors of the zombies. Um, very, very cool video. I'm really proud of how the video turned out. I genuinely think... Uh, out of the more recent videos I've done, it's one of the best. It's one of the most, like, professional and entertaining, I'd say, and just overall good. I'm very proud of it. So, you should go and check that out if you want to learn more about the eye colors. But right now, they're yellow. And that should mean... Should... That mean that they're under the control of a little girl named Samantha Maxis. Um... And her and her dad, her dad, Ludwig Maxis, was the leader of Group 935, but he was betrayed by Richtofen, uh, Ultimus Richtofen, who we saw get shot by Primus Richtofen in the opening cutscene. But in this version of reality, Samantha never got in control of the zombies, and yet it's her voice and the zombies' eyes are yellow, so that's something that never made sense. Oh, nice fits. Yeah, white is white does look pretty cool. What, my favorite color is probably red. If I had to pick a favorite color of the zombie's eyes. Right, we do have um, a lot of points, so I think we're gonna go around and do some stuff. So we have these red lights, and what we need to do, we need to link each of the three teleporters. So this is one, and now we've got to run. Bang my head on the, the door there. Got to run! Or slide. All the way back to the mainframe and link it right here. And the door opens a little bit. And in there is the Pack-A-Punch machine. And each time we do this, we get a drop. Ooh! The last drop that I haven't shown you guys on this map. This is a fire sale. And I gotta quickly run. And this means that the box spawns in every position it can at once and only costs 10 points. And that's the Dracon. Uh, I don't really want that, if I'm honest. Go down! Quicker! Come on. I want another spin. Come on, come on. One more spin, come on. There we go. One more spin. Come on, give me something good. Ooh! The RPK LMG. Do I want that? It's a decent LMG, but I always... It's quite cumbersome. No. Not taking it. It's a good weapon, but for this map, I'm alright. There are far more easier to use weapons. Right. Um. Well, yeah, we're gonna say most of uh, most of it is usually like white is the primary color, and then the outer bit is the main color. Although I guess their eyes are kind of yellow in the middle, but they're like a bright yellow. Oh yeah, that can sometimes happen. Uh, sometimes zombies just bleed out. Um, I don't know why this one did though. He wasn't missing any... If they're missing arms, then they can bleed out. Sometimes they do just drop dead, but another one respawns. So it's fine. Um, what do we want to do now? I guess we should go around linking the rest of the teleporters. Do here... I'll link this one out my way, zombie. Down through here. Down here. And that's two. Oh, shoot. I was literally about to say you've got to be careful because of this fucking thing. It just killed the zombie. Oh. F 
Fuck you, mainframe. I'm gonna spin the gobble gun machine again. What's that? Unquenchable. That lets us have an extra perk. Fuck. Oh, I'm just gonna grab that as well. Because, uh, by... God. Fucking hell, the weevil's not that weak, is it? It's only round 10? Oh, that zombie was stronger than the others. Right. This Russian is ready and eager for more blood. Right. Um. I guess we just finish this round so I can keep doing stuff. It's kind of dangerous to do stuff mid round when you got zombies trying to kill you. What do we have there? Double points. Lovely. go. Lovely. Oh, God. Is that the last one? Nope. Still got a few. Get rid of him, because he's fast. Got one over there. And then is it just these two? This one, and... Any others? Don't think so. Huh. <laughs> Crushing Ben 10 and, uh, zombies. I think a Ben 10 custom map would be hella cool. Be a bit difficult to do anything. Like, I'm sure someone would want to, like, make the Omnitrix and... Oh, I tell you what, that would be really cool if it, like, it, someone could figure out a way to put the Omnitrix into a custom map so you could turn into different types of zombies and fight all the zombies. I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be very advanced, though. Right, we've got 9,000 points, so that's enough to uh, get everywhere open. So... Around here to the final teleporter, and this is actually where the opening cutscene took place. This is where Primus Richtofen came out of the teleporter. The panel's not here, but uh, meh. but this is where that cutscene took place. And I've got to run round because if I want to do the strategy that I want to do, I can't open that other door. We're going to be able to make it, though. And there we go. And the pack punch is open. Staying far away from that thing. A nuke. I'm not going to get that. So this is the pack punch machine. Costs 5,000. It's very pricey. But this upgrades our weaponry. Now... Do I want to... What do I want to do? Should, I, should we do the Easter egg? or Because I can do the Easter egg right now and get it over and done with. Yeah, each of the perks has, has a, a song. It's very fun. Although, the best song... Bar none, the best song from a machine is, isn't actually any of the perks. Although Tombstone, the, uh, the, the jingle for the Tombstone perk, which actually isn't in Black Ops 3, rip, literally. The best jingle is the unreleased Pack-A-Punch jingo, uh, jingo, jingle. Just look up after you've watched this stream unreleased Pack-A-Punch jingle, and have a listen to the whole song. It is the best thing I have ever heard in my entire fucking life. It is so good. It is a proper good beat. Right, um, should we do the Easter egg now? Um, 
But in order to do the Easter egg, I do have to pack punch a weapon. I'll pack punch the mana war, because I'll probably keep the weevil for points. Yeah. And I'm not going to keep the man of war. So we slap it in. You can hear a bit of the jingle when you put it in. And we have the Dread Armada. Gains a fancy new color. Newer camo, sorry. It's probably, I think this is one of the shitter pack punch camos, if I'm honest. And now... It fires special enhanced bullets. Oh, excuse me, that are a lot stronger. So, in order to start this Easter egg, I say start like it's a lengthy process. I mean, I don't know how you do that, Fitz. Like, I don't really think they fit together. The box is still in there, because I haven't gone in there and hit it. Right. So, yeah, I say that like it's a lengthy Easter egg. It's really not. It's like one step. And it's exactly the same as it was in the original Dries, only it used to have Samantha as the sort of ghostly voice that was, uh, that was, uh, narrating the Easter egg. But now, it actually has Maxis, her father. His full name is Ludwig Maxis, but everyone just calls him Maxis. So, in order to start this Easter egg, out the map, there's this weird stone circle, and there's a little panel right there that you have to shoot with a pack punch weapon. I'll just lure this zombie over here so he's not smacking me up whilst I'm doing this. So we gotta aim carefully, and then bam. I want to play a game. Let's play hide and seek. And thus the Easter egg begins. So that was Maxis. Um, he's speaking to us from, uh, not from beyond. Uh, he's currently in a house right now um, with a god named Dr. Monty. Oh god, oh god. Let's not get down right next to the Juggernaut machine. It's very embarrassing. So... After, now that we've done that, there are three objects around the map that we literally need to go and shoot. And that is literally all there is to this easter egg. Like I said, it's a very short one. So the first one... We go over to here. It's actually hidden inside this furnace. You can kind of see it there. It's a monkey bomb. Which we actually need. It's one of the things we need from the box to do a different Easter egg. So there's one. Hey, you found one. I can hear her. Even now. Me and my friends uh, uh, always say um, that it's depressed Maxis. Like, Kyle, when we're playing the giant, he's always just like, Oh, yep, get ready to hear depressed Maxis. Which is very funny. Because it, it is, it is true. Uh, it's a bit annoying that that's still closed, but I'm gonna go. I'll just go around. And this is the 935 logo, obviously. So the second one is up here, actually. Slide jumping over here like a boss. This one's a little difficult to get to, but it's actually a teddy bear in there. You can kind of see it. There we go. Yeah, there is a purpose to this. Because despite how ridiculous all of this seems, this is actually something to do with the story. And the last one, very difficult to spot, but it's all the way up there. One last teddy bear. And... Bam! And there we go. Easter egg done. Again. 
Very, very simple. I promise you the other ones are a lot bigger and a lot more impressive than that one. Um, but basically, in the story, that was activating um, a dimensional beacon, basically. Um, which lets Maxis know where in the universe we are currently, as I understand it. Um, so now, the reward we get for this is very, very shit. If we go down here into this furnace room, we have this gun. And uh, basically, in each zombies map, we have a specialist weapon, which is basically something that was introduced in the multiplayer of Black Ops 3, but they actually carried it over into zombies. Most of the time, it's something original, but this is actually just one of the specialist weapons from, um, one of the specialist weapons from multiplayer. It's called the Annihilator, and it's basically just a very strong revolver, and it's only very strong for a very short amount of time. So yeah, that's it. That's the Easter egg done. So now, um, we can focus on hitting the box because there is one more little non-story related easter egg that we can do, which is, in my opinion, actually quite a bit cooler. We can actually access a hidden perk, which is very, very cool. But we do need monkey bombs for it. The locust. Sniper. That's, that's, that's not what I want. So. Uh, we're just gonna keep hitting the box until we're out of points. It hit on... It hit on the monkey bomb twice there. I don't believe that. Right. Well, that is the dingo. That is probably my favourite weapon in all of... Uh, zombies, or maybe not in all of zombies, but it's a very, very good LMG, but we're not going to take it. And what I'm actually going to... Actually, I don't even think we've got enough. I don't think we have enough, actually. No. I was going to say we're going to go buy... Um, we're going to go buy a, a very good point weapon, but I genuinely don't think we have... Actually, hold on. Because I don't feel like we've got the points from Speed Cola. Have we? No! Fantastic. I missed. I missed most of those shots. There we go. And this is the VMP. This is the greatest... Oh, it's a dog round. Lovely. This is the greatest point weapon in all of Black Ops 3, because look at how fast it fires. This is awesome. It is the greatest point weapon ever. It lets us get more, po uh, more points from dogs. And they're weak as shit. Yeah. It's, it's funny, because for a long time we actually thought that it was Samantha who gives us the mystery box and the wall weapons. Which, in fairness, wouldn't make a lot of sense, considering that whenever Samantha is in control, she's out to kill us. But it's actually, uh, Dr. Monty who gives us the gobblegums and the wall weapons and the box and the perks and the pack punch. He didn't make them. Um, Dr. Monty is literally... Uh, oh, double points. Definitely want that. Uh, he didn't make them. Dr. Monty is basically a god. He's the god of the zombies universe. Um, because he can't just create stuff, even though he's god. He can't just create stuff out of thin air. He has to manipulate stuff that is already there. Um... So, he manipulated the perk machines, which were originally just, basically, medicine. They were originally medicinal beverages, uh, cooked up by Group 935. 
Um, he manipulated the box, which I assume was probably just a box full of guns. And he made it magical. Nuke, we don't want that. Is that an insta-kill? We don't really want that either. Well, that was quick. Oh, well, now we can get it, because he just gives us an extra 400 points. Um... But, uh, yes. Um... So, he has to manipulate things already there. The Pack-a-Punch was built by a blacksmith in the Old West. After his mother was killed by a zombie. And then, uh, he put her corpse in the Pack-a-Punch machine. And it turned her into a bunch of ghosts. True story. Zombie lore is wild. So as you can see, this is a lot stronger now. Just using it to thin the horde a bit, so I'm just a bit more comfortable. Look at those points. Oh god. Watch your back. You've always got to keep moving in zombies. It's a game of movement. Uh. Alright, I do want to make sure I have... Oh, yeah, I do have plenty of zombies left at the minute. Alright, there's a zombie over there. Oh, still a few more, actually. Kill him. Kill him. Ooh, a fire cell. We do want that. We must hurry to the box. The economy will soon collapse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Nikolai. Oh god. Ow. The Gorgon! Again! Box! Come on! Preserve your ammo and use the annihilator because it is god fucking awful for points. And wall weapons, you can just buy ammo off the wall anyway. That's what's good about them. Ooh, the Havoc. It's a decent weapon, but I won't take it. It's got a nice camo on it. Which I actually got on video. I did a video on uh, opening up black market supply drops. A couple of weeks back. Oh no, we're not on the first round. Look in the bottom left. It's uh, round 13. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. So, we've got 14... 14,000 points now. Oh. God, it's weird when uh, I adjust my headset sometimes. I can't hear myself as well. Oh yeah, first match. Yeah. Yeah, they, like, they do last. Um, I mean, in fairness, I'm not going as fast as I probably usually would because I'm talking a lot of the time. Right. Now we're basically just going to put all of our points into hitting the box. Depending on what the secret perk is, because it can be one of two, will depend on what we have as our final perk. And because we only have four perk slots, unless we get unquenchable again. Which I think is a bit cheap and a bit unnecessary. I mean, I will pick it up if we get it. The ICR-1, that's a decent weapon. Again, we're not going to pick it up. I do need to remember to go get some more ammo, though. Um. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, Dr. Monty, he manipulates everything. Oh, the Pharaoh, that is not a good weapon. I've got a nice camo on it, though. Um, he manipulates stuff. He's the one that teleports the perks, the mystery box, and, uh, and the pack punch machine. God damn it. I don't really know why, he, um, there's not really a law reason why, uh, the box moves, I don't think. Might be something to do with Samantha, but... I have no idea. There are some things... 
I mean, in fairness, there are just some things that can't be explained in the lore just because they are just game mechanics. But you'd be surprised how much is explained in the lore. You really would. And again, like I said, any questions you guys have about anything in this, and I'm happy to answer it. Right, is it here? Yeah, this is the worst possible spot for it to be. It's the most awkward spot possible. Hopefully, we can get it to move again. Okay, both things we needed flashed in the box about four times, and it... The two things we need are the the monkey bombs, as I've already said, and the wonder weapon of this map, the main one. Because wonder weapons are special weapons that are very, very powerful. Oh god, bug off. The SVG, again. This is not funny. It's not. It's not funny. None of this. Oh, we could give it a try, Nikolai. The Gorgon! This this damn box is broken. Monty! You gotta help me out here, man. Gimme give gimme give something. Give me something to work with. Please. The Argus shotgun. Terrible. Terrible, terrible shotgun. <laughs> Come on. How does it work to be out of this spot? H3K, again, it's giving us the same damn weapons. Really wish I had the hacker right now from Moon. There's a device in Moon called the hacker, and you can use it to hack the box. The Dracon? Ugh. Box loves to bully me. Um, yeah, there's a, de a device in the map Moon where you can uh, hack the mystery box and respin it for cheaper. The Locust! Stop it! Oh, you're thinking of circling around, are you? No, no. Um, and you can hack, you can hack the perk machines if you want to get rid of a perk, for instance, which you can't do unless you go down. Oh, he's giving us the weevil back again. Um, you can hack doors to open them for cheap. What are all the perks? If I listed every single perk, we'd be here all day, but then again... Given that we are doing nothing but spinning the damn box right now, I guess I don't really have anything else to do. You guys want to know? Um, you guys want to know all the perks? I'll tell you about all the perks. So it started off with quick revive, juggernaut, speed cola, and double tap. Double tap 1.0. Um, double tap 1.0 literally just increased the fire rate, and everyone hates it because it uh, in World at War. And Black Ops 1, where Double Tap 1.0 was. Where is it? Oh, now it's in an even worse spot. It's on the bloody catwalk. You see, in Zombies, you, you either do two things to get to uh, high rounds. You camp, which is where you stay in one spot. And this catwalk is the, the camping spot on the giant. Or you train, which is where you run around an area and kill zombies. The XM rocket launcher. Monty, you're, you're making a mockery of me. He's being mean to me. It's because, I, it's because I've done the Easter egg. He's just like, why are you not moving on? Go to a different map. The SVG. This isn't even funny anymore. Right, perks. Yeah, so when Double Tap 1.0 was first introduced, it was really bad because 
back in World at War and Black Ops 1, where it was, um, the guns had literally no ammo whatsoever. They had terrible ammo. Absolutely god-awful ammo. Um, so no one bought it. <laughs> because it, it meant that you used up ammo way too quickly. The Haymaker 12. That's a very good shotgun, but we do not want a shotgun. Um, so in... Because perks originally weren't even a thing. They came in the second map. In in the original map, Nakdu and Toten, perks weren't a thing. Neither was Pack-a-Punch. But perks came in Verukt, the the original four perks, that is. Ooh. The Dracon. Lovely. Hello, John Cater. Yeah, I'm doing good. We're playing zombies. Stream into all you lovely folk at home. Life's good. Now get down here. Thank you for moving out of that bloody spot. Um, so... They were, yeah, so the perks, the original four perks were introduced in Brooks. Robert and Dismelon. Why do I feel like I'm about to get raided by trolls? It's, it's unusual for this many people to randomly join in. Apologies, though, if you're genuine people. I'm just cautious from previous uh, attacks. Are you joking? It's back in that spot. Or is it? Hold on, is it? Or is it in here? No, it's in here. Okay, we're good. Um. <gasps> yes! Fucking finally! Right. I'm gonna replace the Dread Armada with this! The Wonder Wolf DG2. The Wonder Weapon of Doris. And uh, now we can't... Uh, I've just realised we've made a bit of an error in that now I don't have enough for ammo. It's a problem. Well, I guess now I have to use this thing. Actually, maybe I could use the Annihilator. Let's see how long it takes to knife a zombie to death on round 13. Oh, I, I forgot that how quick... Um, there we go. You knife slower if you don't have any ammo. Oh, it spawned a death machine. That's good to hear, John. I'm glad. Sorry, we've just had... Uh, we, we've had a lot of trolls in the past, so... When a bunch of people randomly join the stream, I'm automatically cautious. But welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm actually going to get this death machine because... Uh, Excuse me. Um, we need the points. Then again. Thank you. Alright. Um, so, being here is quite risky. I'm actually going to go... Um, I guess I could just, like, run around the map. So right now, we are still grinding for points, because we need monkey bombs. Another max ammo! Well, let's waste all the ammo in this thing, and then we'll get it. If I can. I'll grab it now. There we go! Yeah, so we are still grinding for points because we need monkey bombs still. Oh god. I was like, what's that noise? So yeah, they introduced the original four perks, only three of which were good. Ooh. Decay. We got a, a reflex reticle. Um actually Funnily enough, and I didn't actually I didn't actually know this up until recently, in World at War, Quick Revive didn't actually revive you on solo. 
it only because in multiplayer it doesn't. It uh, lets you, it only lets you revive your teammates quicker, and that's what it did originally on World at War. It didn't um, in World at War. It didn't revive you on solo. So really, the only two perks you needed on solo in World at War was Juggernaut and Speed Cola. Then in Black Ops One, in the first DLC map. They introduced two new perks, which were Stamina Up and PhD Flopper. Stamina Up uh, lets you run faster and lets your stamina regen quicker, which is actually pretty useful, especially if you're training and considering that Zombies is a game where, you know, you are moving about a lot. Um, and PhD Flopper made you immune to all explosive damage, which was very good considering that back then the primary uh, wonder weapon that people used was the ray gun. Because it was actually good back then. Um, and also when you dolphin dived, which was the Argus again. When you dolphin dived, which was the thing that was replaced by the slide in World at War. Actually no, it wasn't in World at War. It was in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Uh, instead of sliding, you basically dived onto the floor. And when you did that with PhD Flopper, you made a big explosion. Um, then, uh, what came next? Call of the Dead, yep, they introduced another new perk. What's that? The Shiva. Uh, no, 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 no. The Shiva is the worst weapon in Black Ops 3. It is pitiful. It's horrible. Um, yeah, then in the next map, they introduced another new perk called Deadshot Daiquiri. It's the Pharaoh. Um, and Deadshot basically means that when you zoom in, uh, your, your reticle immediately went to the zombie's head. So you could do that, and it would automatically aim for the zombie's head and make killing zombies easier. It's widely regarded as one of the worst perks, but I put that down more to... Especially in Black Ops 1, where it was introduced, I put that more down to the weapons being shit rather than, uh, rather than the actual perk. But it's definitely not one of the better perks. The 48 Dredge. That is a burst fire LMG. It's pretty decent, but not what we want right now. Literally, all we need right now is the monkeys, and then we are, we are set for the rest of the game. Apart from perks, but, um, we'll get those after. Yeah, pretty much. You pretty much could do that back in the day. But unfortunately, um, it's the Weevil again. Um, yeah, so then, uh, after that, no new perks on Shangri-La, but, but then on Moon, that's when our friend Mule Kick was introduced, which... Gives you four, uh, not four, uh, three weapons. Again, some people hate on it, but I'd say it's pretty useful. Especially on we on maps where there's... Oh, for God's sake. Especially on maps where there's more than one good wonder weapon. Um, then in Black Ops 2... We had Double Tap 2.0, which was the improved version of Double Tap. Um, and we also had Tombstone Soda. And basically what Tombstone does, it's multiplayer only. Oh, would you look at that? We spawned, we went where the box spawned. Hello, box. Um. Pharaoh again. Let's go and uh, buy some more ammo for the coming round. Uh, so Tombstone was multiplayer only, and basically, um... Oh, it's a dog round. I had a sneaking suspicion it might be. That was a waste of points then, because you were about to get max ammo. Why'd I do that? Oh, well. Um... And basically what Tombstone did is, if you went down, you could choose to kill yourself, um, if 
your team weren't going to be able to revive you. And then the next round, uh, there was a tombstone drop that you could go and get. And you could get all your perks and all your weapons back. Because if you die on a multiplayer game, you come back on the next round, but you don't have any of your perks or any of your weapons. So, again, not the most useful perk, but it's, it's a fun perk. I've just realised I'm not even in the centre of my camera. There we go. Um... Then, in the map after that, Die Rise, came Who's Who, which is a criminally underrated perk. Basically, when you went down, it was an alternate to Quick Revive, where instead of uh, going down and then just going back up um, and losing all of your perks, you became sort of like a ghost of yourself, and you could revive yourself. Now... Everyone, and I do mean everyone, hates on who's who. And I'll tell you exactly why that is. That is because everyone is shit at using it. If you are actually a good zombies player, it is a godsend. Because it is infinite, you can buy it infinite times, and as long as you keep reviving yourself, you can survive forever. Ah, now that's something I forgot about. Now, uh, we're at round 16. Dogs are starting to spawn, um, on regular rounds, which can be a bit irritating. Right. I can hear more of them spawning. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, dear. Fuck off. Alright, I'm actually going to get both of these. Fire sail and a nuke, so we can make use of it. Now trapped. Alright, first down on round 16. Honestly, that's better than most of my games. Oh, the ray gun. See, on any other COD, on any other game, we'd actually want that. But it's shit in Black Ops 3. They made it awful. Come on. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to make it. That didn't, that did not just happen. I got fucking double slapped. You piece of shit zombies. Oh. Fuck's sake. Damn it. Unbelievable. Two revives gone in one round. And we only have three. That's something I neglected to mention. So now... I think I need little revive after drinking off it goes. Goodbye, Cook Revive. So now all those lovely points that we would have spent on... on the box... Now I've got to save up for perks again. Bollocks. Oh god, where did you come from? Look away for a second. Ugh. Okay, that's just rubbing it in. I can still hear the fucking jingle. If you want to get up, you need a little revive. Yeah. Right, let's try and recover from this, shall we? He says with very few bullets in his VMP. Oh, Insta. It's not really going to help us right now. Yes, I could knife him. Oh, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. This is too dangerous. Don't like it. Right, let's use the Wonder Wolf, shall we? Show you guys what it can do. BAM! It doesn't seem to be very effective. They definitely nerfed... They nerfed this version of the Wonder Wolf. The version in the old maps was way better. Right, um... Oh, this is... This is sketchy. Uh, yes, I do need ammo. I just need to get to the pissing wall by... Oh, no. Anywhere but here, save me! Thank you. Oof. 
And that's why gobble gums are useful. Let's go buy some ammo. Oh, hello. Right. It's all good. That was a bad series of events, I'll admit. Oh, careful. I'm starting to get sloppy now. This is not a good place to be, in fairness. Oh, we'll definitely be able to get uh, some decent points from this horde. You gotta be careful when they start respawning. That was close. Woof! So where was I? Ah yes, perk. So who's who? Criminally underrated. It's hated because zombies players are shit at the game, basically. Uh, then the next map, uh, but who's who has never been, uh, who's who has never been seen in a map since. Because people don't like it, which is a shame. Plus, it's kind of overpowered, in, you know, if you're good at using it. Oh, we leveled up, lovely. Um, then in the next map came Electric Cherry, which basically was a bit of an alternate to Speed Cola, or something to help enhance Speed Cola, in that when you reloaded, there was an electrical burst from you that stunned the zombies to, you know, let you reload. Um, it's a pretty good perk, although it's pretty shit in Black Ops 3, I think. They made it worse. What's that? A double point. We are definitely going to make use of this. Buy some more ammo. Oh, God. Oof. Now that is more like it. What's that? A max ammo! I'll oh, use up all the ammo. Don't want to kill all of them because we've got to hit the box. There we go. Couple left. And there we go. 15k points. Right. Fantastic. Um... So yeah, then came Electric Cherry, pretty decent. Then in the map after that came another new perk. Black Ops 2 was great for uh, introducing new perks. We had, I'm pretty sure we had, a new, we had a new perk in almost every single map. This better be worth the death of my taste buds. Oof. Um, so then in the map after that, we had Vulture Aid, Elixir, which... Was a bit of a weird one, where basically, when you killed zombies, they dropped, like, little uh, bags of money and bullets. Uh, so you get, like, five extra points for every couple of zombies that you killed, and, a, like, a few bullets every now and then. Which, in fairness, doesn't seem like that much, but it does stack up. Um... Is there a pack punch 3.0? Well, we can... In Something introduced in this game is double pack a punch, which basically puts an ability on your gun, and we're going to be making use of that. If we can survive long enough to, that is. Um, so, yeah, that's good. There's, like, I want to say five different abilities? Yeah, I think there's five. Uh, so Voltrade added, like, little bags of money and little bullets. And also introduced, like, this green smoke that you could hide in, and it meant that the zombies couldn't see you. So it was quite handy, but it was only in its respective map. It's never been in a map again. And then, uh, in Origins, Origins didn't have a new perk, but it did have the Wonder Fizz machine, which is basically... A machine that, like, it was like the mystery box, basically, but for perks. It cost 1,500 points, and you could spin it to get a random perk. And it was also um, Treyarch's way of basically reintroducing all of the old perks that hadn't been in uh, Zombies for, like, since Black Ops 1. Because 
Until Origins with the Wonderfizz machine, Mule Kick had only been in Die Rise, uh, the first DLC map of Black Ops 2. Deadshot hadn't been in any map. PhD hadn't been in any map. And, uh, yeah. But you could only get... Funnily enough, out of the ones introduced in Black Ops 2, you could only get Electric Cherry. You couldn't get Tombstone. You couldn't get, um... You couldn't get Vault Trade, and you couldn't get Who's Who. So those were map exclusive. And then, after that, the only new perk introduced in Black Ops 3 was Widow's Wine, which is a fantastic perk. Man of War again. Uh, basically, it replaces your grenades with Semtex grenades, but every time a zombie hits you, and you have grenades, it basically, it doesn't hurt you, and it blows up the zombie and ensnares them in webs. It's like an essential perk that, you know, is very, very useful. So, yeah. Then in Black Ops 4, they utterly destroyed the perk system, so I don't even know about all of the perks in, uh, in that game, and I don't really give a shit, really. But let's, let me just tell you that they utterly destroyed the perk system. So yeah, those are all, those are all the perks that matter, basically. None of the others matter. Recky, decent shotgun, but again, not what we want. I swear to God, we have had, like, every single weapon that is in this box other than the monkey bombs. It, they were there, they were there! Oh, I saw them. No, why, why would, why would Double Tap need a 3.0? The only reason they made a 2.0 was because the first one was bad. No, if something's broken, if something's not broken, sorry, you know, don't fix it. Where the hell is the box now? Ah, it's back where it was originally. Triple tap. Well, by that logic, the first one should have been called Uno Tap. Yes! Finally! Oh my god! Finally, yes! Okay, so now... We, I mean, we can't even do the whole... Sh we can't even do the whole thing now, because we don't have enough points. Because it, it, um... It requires the teleporters, and I'm getting quite hot, actually. Probably because... Uh, my PC isn't even that hot. Oh, yes. It's much better. Oof. Mm. Quadruple tap. <clears throat> ah. So, now we can do the other Easter egg on this map. So, um, what we need to do is... Excuse me, first off, we need to get these zombies a bit far away, I think. It involves the teleporters. So what we do is we run up to the teleporters and we throw a monkey inside and then teleport with it. Now we're back to the mainframe and you can see one of those is now lit up green. So we've got to do it with every... Ooh, a money drop. I don't even... I've... They're very rare. 800 points. Hey, now we've got an, enough to do another one. Fantastic. Single tap. <laughs> I like that. Alright, well, thank you, mainframe. So now we throw another one in here. we got to do it for each of the teleporters. 
so that's two. I gave us another money drop. Come on, give us enough. Oh, I only gave us a hundred. If it could give us, it could have given us a thousand, then that would have been very good. Right. Well, we don't really have anything else to uh, to do now, so let's. Let me say, where do you get to? Right. Nice. Very glad that we now have that. Piss off, dog. So now we just need to keep um, saving up points. And I think I'm actually going to stick around in the spawn because this is actually where we're going to be hanging out once we're fully set up. It may not seem like the best spot to hang out, but I promise you on the map it is. It's the best spot for training. You just got to be careful. And always keep moving. Oh, God. Woof. That was close. See, you just keep looping around like so. So depending on, again, like I said, depending on what perk is uh, in that secret location that we're trying to open up. It's not really even a secret location, it's just a hidden perk. Ah, itchy nose. Oh god. Itchy nose almost cost me uh, another quick revive. <laughs> Do need to go get some ammo soon, though. Right, let's go and grab some ammo, then. And this is a decent area to train in as well, but it's very horrible because they can come from about a thousand different places. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. Now that was close. Thank fuck for anywhere but here. Immolation. That would have been useful, like, at any point within the last half an hour. And they can jump up. Up there. But that's why I keep that door shut, because that means that's another, like, one le less way for them to, to come for me, basically. Funnily enough, my highest round ever is actually on the giant, and I got it quite recently as well. Um, my highest round ever, which I got on this map, was round 66. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that, to be honest. And it was doing this exact strategy, although I didn't, uh, I had a different weapon. Which we will probably be getting. Um, don't worry, it's a wall weapon, we don't have to box for it. We've, we're done boxing now, that's it, we've, we've got all the stuff on the box that we need. Now, the main part of my nose is itchy, god damn it. Ah, octuple tap. Oh, God, we're out of ammo again. God, this thing runs out of ammo quickly. Insta. I might just... Oh, God, that was risky. That could have been very, very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no more unboxing videos during a zombie attack. You would not be doing this on World at War. Honestly, I think knifing, even though it gives you 130 points, might actually be worse than uh than just using the VMP. 
Oof. Oof. Oh, God. Yeah. Apologies. Itchy nose. Right, come on, zombies. There's enough for me to go around. I don't really know why I'm, um... Why, yeah, hold on. Why am I actually wasting time trying to get points? I don't need points anymore. We have all the stuff we want from the box. Actually, no, that's why I'm getting points. Because we need to, uh, pack a punch. And we need to double pap for, uh... For one of the weapons. And that's another full, uh, full bit of ammo gone. And I'm going to go buy just a tad bit more. Sounded like the Wonder Wolf just slurped then. Thank you. Again, we don't want to kill all of them. I'll leave those two. Right. So now, uh, no, we don't want to open that. Because that'll fuck up, uh, everything quite bad. Horror game in this sort of game, uh, in this sort of gameplay. Well, that's actually what World War Two zombies tried to do. If you don't know, um, basically there are like three main companies, um, that make, uh, that, well, that made zombies back in the day, um, that are under Call of Duty, it's like three different variants of company that work, uh, that make Call of Duties. Treyarch, which make the good zombies, and then Infinity War and Sledgehammer. And both Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward have, uh, oh god damn it, can you not? Both Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward has, have a... Uh, taken a crack at making their own zombies. There was Exo Zombies, which is pretty bad. Then there was Infinite Warfare Zombies, which was alright, because it didn't take itself too seriously. And then there was uh, World War II Zombies, which was horror-focused. And they actually did quite a good job with that. Right. Did I kill both of them? I did. I, I accidentally killed both of them. Right. So, i got to make sure I don't kill this dude, because then the next round is going to start, and I don't want that. Come on, teleport, teleport, teleport. There we go. Thank you. And then... First off, let me see what's going to spawn in. Oh, money. I'll take that. Oh, now it gives me a thousand. That figures. So now that's flashing. We press this button. And then the robot shoots a beam of energy onto that snow pile. To reveal... The hidden perk... Which in this game is Deadshot Daiquiri. Hello. Now we're not actually going to be buying that. I was hoping that it was going to be stamina up. Um, because it can either be stamina up or deadshot. And D deadshot would be great if we were doing the strategy where we're going to camp up in the catwalk. But that is not a suitable high round strategy. That sort of stops being effective going into the early 30s. Um, so no, we're not going to get that, unfortunately. But it's, it's a cool Easter egg. So yeah, it came from that, um, that giant robot's eyes. It bounced off the Dewey sign and melted that snow pile. And that was hidden just under the surface. And it's random every game, whether it's Stamina Up or Deadshot. And Stamina Up is better for this strategy, obviously, because you're running around. Right. So what we're going to do, this may seem absolutely backwards, but we're going to buy the RK-5. The starting room pistol. Now you may be thinking that this is completely backwards, but actually, it isn't. So now we're going to pack a punch. Going to start with the Wonder Wolf. Wonder what happened to other Nikolai. The one who walked with fools. 
So now it's the Wonder Wolf DG3JZ. What does Deadshot do? That's the one that zooms in on the zombies' heads when you zoom in like that. It's not very useful um, in situations like this. Ah. Purple juice. Well, it's not, it's not actually juice. I think it's just, like, electricity. Now I just need to... I need to loop this dude uh, round and... Like so. So he takes as long as possible to get to me. I have seen this before on the battlefields of northern France. So now we have the Rex Caliber 115. Now we can't actually pack punch the Wonder Wolf again because having an ability on a Wonder Weapon would be pretty overpowered. Also, for the Wonder Wolf it wouldn't really work. So Rybina gone. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, let me loop him around up here again. So, there's a specific ability we want for the RK5. It only costs 2,500 to pack again. And we got fireworks. Now, I used to think this was the best one. And granted, it will get you out of any emergency situation, no problem. But for this, this particular strategy... It's not that good. Plus, it also depends on what weapon you have as to the effectiveness of fireworks. Basically, what fireworks does is uh, it makes like a little copy of your... Yes! Let's go! It makes... Uh, fireworks makes a little copy of your gun appear and shoot at all the zombies like a little mini turret for a few seconds. But... It depends on what gun you have as to how effective it is. If you've got something like the Dingo, then it's absolutely amazing. But if you've got something like the RK5, then it's very, very bad. But, Blast Furnace, that is the one I wanted. And basically what this does, it's very, uh, it's not really that useful to show against one zombie, but, uh... What this does is it creates a burst of flame that sets a bunch of zombies on fire, and after a few seconds, like, that entire horde of zombies dies. So, it's very good, and especially very good for training um, strategies. In fairness, for most maps, you have to train to get to a high round. Camping is very rarely a viable option. Why am I up here? I'm looking for double tap. Because the reason I didn't buy double tap at first was because... First off, because we needed points and double tap would have made my gun stronger. So we would have got less points. Um, so I didn't want that. Um, and two... Um, two, I wanted to see if it was stamina up. And it wasn't stamina up, obviously. Uh, so now we are fully set up, and this is what you're going to see for the rest of the stream, basically. So now I guess we'll just see how far we can go. See, that's what it does. Fire sale. We don't really need that. The reason I'm going over here is because I want to try and hit the gobble gun machine. Sword flay. On round 19? I think not. Ah. Alright. Luckily, this is still pretty good. See, the key to being a good zombies player is you have to have very fast reaction times. Or it's not even that, really. You've got to... The way I describe it is you've got to be like a sat-nav. And I know that sounds absolutely bonkers, but let me explain. First off, let me try out Blast Furnace and show you guys how good it is. So, literally, one shot... And that entire horde is dead in seconds. That's why it's good. 
Now that does make things a bit awkward because it means a bunch more zombies are spawning from anywhere and everywhere. But my sat-nav analogy is basically you've got to be able to plan out a route in your head. You've got to, like, see... You've got to visualize your route, like, as you're about to take it. And you've, you've got to react accordingly. Now, sometimes it is annoying because it like hits at the edge of the horde, so it doesn't kill as many. Go up here. And we have, the reason I wanted the Wonder Wolf, obviously, is just for backup. They definitely nerfed it. It used to be able to kill an entire horde on the old maps. I think... That's round. And there we go. So this is how I got to round 66, basically. I guess we'll see if I, uh... If I get that high on this game. And we are on our last quick revive. And the reason the RK5 is so good, obviously, is because it's, um, it's, number one, it's a wall weapon, so you can buy ammo for it right here. It's a pack punch weapon, so it costs 4,500, but points aren't an issue for us anymore. And just like that. Yeah, let me... I was literally going to explain how it works, Fitz. The way... Um, the way ammo mods work is that basically... Um, there is a cooldown, but when the cooldown is recharged completely... Uh, there's basically a chance uh, for it to activate with every bullet. But the reason that the RK5 is a great weapon to have for it... Is because it's a burst fire... So, every time you press the trigger, it fires three bullets. Oh, that was a really shit spot for Blast Furnace to have activated in. And this is when you use the Wonder Wolf because you're trapped in a corner. And there we go. There we go. So yeah, that's why burst fire weapons are great for it, because every time you press the trigger, it's like, um, a three in however many chance, obviously, because it fires three times every time you press the trigger. Look at that. I think this is going to get the entire horde. The entire horde. One shot. I guess you may as well get the death machine. Take it easy for a, a little bit. All we need to do is just be careful to uh, watch out when it's going to wear off. Because obviously, we don't want to be in a bad situation. But then again, round's done. Huh. <sighs> So now, although I do have to concentrate every now and then, this becomes a just chatting stream. <clears throat> so again, remember, anything you want to know about the zombie storyline or anything else, do not hesitate to ask because I very much like talking about it. And I'm very much in the know about the zombie storyline. I wouldn't... Well, I'm going to say I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I'm, I'd say I am actually a, a pretty big expert. Um, I'm not saying I know every little thing. There are some things I am quite rusty on. Right, nukes are actually quite helpful because they let you get through rounds quicker. But I'm going to wait, let the zombies spawn in again before getting it. 
another hellhound myself. And I'm going to get it now. And the good thing is that zombies can't actually hurt you after you've hit a nuke. As you can see, they're not able to hit me. So it's very useful. I don't know what you mean by roguelikes, Fitz. But, uh, why did Samantha's dog become the first hellhound? Now that is something I can answer. Um, and that actually ties into the whispers that we sort of heard at the start of the, um, of the cutscene for this map. Um, because it ties in with, uh, it ties in with, uh, the betrayal that Richtofen did to Maxis and Samantha. Basically, um, Samantha had a dog called Fluffy. Um, another death machine, lovely. Oh wow, that was round? Wow. Oh, the type of game. I'm not familiar with that. I'm sure if you pointed it out to me, I probably would be, but um. Uh, so, Samantha had a dog named Fluffy, and Richtofen and Maxis were actually doing experiments. Oh, that was close. Almost didn't get that. Uh, Maxis and Richtofen were actually doing experiments on Fluffy with Element 115. And it, it turned Fluffy into the first Hellhound. Now, unfortunately, uh, Fluffy was actually pregnant with puppies. So, uh, they turned Fluffy into the first Hellhound. Then Richtofen locked... Samantha and Maxis in with Fluffy. Luckily, they managed to teleport away. And, uh... Because Samantha then ran into the MPD after getting teleported to the moon, uh, she was able to control no not only the zombies, but Fluffy and all of her pups as well. Because... Fluffy was infected with element 115, and that has a link to the Dark Aether, and... Ouch. God, that was tight. Um, because she was infected... I'm pretty sure Fluffy was a... Yeah, of course she was a she. She had pups. Um, because Fluffy was infected with element 115, which is connected to the Aether, specifically the Dark Aether, I'm pretty sure. And actually, I think it's just the Aether. But the MPD pyramid that Samantha ran inside also has a connection to the ether. Um, it allowed her to control Fluffy and all of her pups. So that's why we see hellhounds being sent after us. Because Samantha is sending them after us. Or it's not... Well, it's not Samantha uh, in, in this universe. I don't know who it is. It's never been revealed. It's one of the big mysteries. Yeah, no worries, Zara. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. Uh. See, look at that. It's so good. Oh, okay. Funnily enough, Pitts, I don't think I've actually heard, seen, or played any of those games. Alright, 24. Now we're speeding through them. <laughs> this is very nice. Despite, um... Despite how intense it is, it's actually quite relaxing to me. It's definitely not the most relaxing, um, zombies map. The most relaxing zombies map, once you're fully set up, is actually Moon. Which we'll be playing soon, obviously. Well, maybe not. Maybe not soon at this rate. Ow. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. Nice big horde. Bam. I think it caught. I tried to fire it into the middle of the horde and it got caught on one of the ones in front of me. Damn it! You 
Meow. Oh god. I tried to slide there and it didn't let me slide. I ran out of sprint. See, that's why stamina up would be really good. I swear to god, I've been really unlucky with the dead shot stamina up thing recently. I swear to god, like the last three or four times I've played the giant, I've wanted stamina up and it, it hasn't given me it. At least the hellhounds give us a warning as to uh, when they're spawning in. Oh god, oh god. Come on, guys. Cluster together. Oof. Oh, I fired a bit too far to the back there. Breathing in and breathing out. I must fight my way through. Yeah, there we go, right in the middle. Basically, an entire horde. Oh no, I'm getting an itchy nose again. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fire cell. Because we need them. <laughs> the music's nice, at least. And that you can see all of the different lights in the sky. Do, 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 do. Amazing that there's only five. Oh, no, there's six. There's two there. Six box locations. Come on, dogs. Nice to be having you. Oh, God, I'm not that far forward. There we go. Oh, God, hello. Ah. I like dogs, but not ones on fire. Love, Nikolai. All right. Reload. Hell pigs. My gun is full of bullets. Soon you will be the same. Is there a limit to how many zombies you can get caught with blast furnace? Um I guess it just sort of depends on the radius. Like it, it has a set radius and it's just however many zombies you can catch in that radius, basically. So there is a limit, but it's not like a it's not really like a numbered limit. Well, you know, it is a numbered limit, but it's not like a set limit. It's however many zombies you can fit in that radius, really. Ooh. That was a bit too far back. Still got a decent amount, though. Actually, I'm not going to get that carpenter because they're annoying on this strategy. So I've got to train around it. Bloody carpenter's going to get me killed. Piss off! See, this is why hellhounds are um, irritating. Because they sort of... You've got a perfect horde, and then they sort of break it up because they they run faster and they attack differently. Ah. Luckily, they're weak as shit. Today you die. It's one of my, me and my friend's favorite quotes from Nikolai. Okay, there we go. Oh 
Oh, wow, still not the end of the round. This last dude. Oh no, they're still spawning. There we go, round 27. Ah. Any special variants of Hellhounds? Um, I think there are in Alpha Omega in Black Ops 4. But Black Ops 4 is stinky. And there are Plague Hounds in, um, in Black Ops Cold War. But not really any in the... Oh, bloody Nora, that was a bad situation. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh, I don't know what I just did. I think I accidentally threw a monkey. Oof. Oh, this is this is bad. We might be about to die. Right. It's no worries if we die because we're playing through the maps from the start. I can't even remember where Jog is. Jog is down here. Um, we're playing through the maps from the start, so the next map we'll be playing is Nacked. And that's a very simple map. That's a map that we can easily just do a short game of. Probably won't survive long on it anyway. Uh. Um, sprint! Sprint, you fuck. You're not that fat, Nikolai. Oh, no. Chop down here. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah. Yeah, I probably should. In plain sight. Literally perfect thing to get. Oof. God almighty. Right, I do kind of need double tap. But it is kind of risky to go get it now. Ah! Stop itching, nose! There we go. Fuck it, let's... Go try and get double tap. I can hear him spawning. This is a bad idea. I'm saying it right now. It's a bad idea. Oh, this is very, 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 very bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Oh, but we pulled it off. Come on. That was good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yikes to yikes. And my nose is getting itchy again. What is going on? Stop being itchy. <sighs> You're not meant to be itchy. Your nose! You're not meant to be itchy, you're meant to smell. That is your literal purpose. Ah. Bam. And just like that, we're back in the room. My thumb is starting to hurt from being pressed on the joystick, though. There we go. Oh, God. Die. Oh, there we go. Death machine, I'll grab that. 
would be really badass if that had been the end of the round. The good thing about being in spawn is I'm pretty sure they never actually spawn outside or in a position where they can hop over the fence if you're within the spawn. The reason they hopped over before was because they were coming in from outside. Ugh, the right side of my nose is really itchy. Which is really irritating. Oh god. And that's why in plain sight is very, very good. It makes it so that they can't see you. But it of course wears off, so you gotta be careful. Ah. That was a pretty good shot. Oh, yes. So we'll wait for the zombies to spawn in. Then grab the nuke. Then grab the insta. Oh dear. Or oh, use in plain sight again. That works. No, give me the drops. My drops. Ah. Well, I didn't want to use in plain sight that uh that soon. That's irritating. Funny thing is, Widow's Wine would actually not be something I'd want on this map. Oh, God. Because Widow's Wine would mean that there would just be trapped zombies stuck everywhere and blocking my path. So it's almost a good thing we don't have Widow's Wine right now. Wow, two more drops again. Don't want the carpenter, uh, the carpenter though, because that means they're going to take longer to get into the map, and that means they'll be more spread out, and we don't want that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Go for the monkey, go for the monkey, go for the monkey. Thank you. Hellhounds do not go for monkeys, though. I am surrounded by Bam. There we go. Yeah. No, there's no. We've got no point to re-roll the the box because we've got everything we need. I suppose I could get Mule Kick and, like, get the VMP for, like, when it's Insta, but I don't, I don't really think it's worth it. Come on. Let's be having you. There we go. Lovely. Oh god. Oh no! And just like that, that's all she wrote. Just like that, it can end so quickly. 29 rounds, I'm happy with that. It's, it's a good, it's a good game of the giant. Leveled up once. <laughs> yes, could. Past tense. Leveled up once. Leveled up the Weevil and the Man of War. And three Liquid Divinium. That's also something I'll show you guys. God. 
Oof. It is hot. I dread to think how hot I'm going to be in the summers. Alright, let's check out... Yep, Weevil. Um... I'm not putting... I'm not putting a, a bloody... Optic on a Weevil. Just doesn't need it. I'll put the Quick Draw on there. Um, and... Mana War. Um... I don't really think the Man of War needs it either. Oh, I think it's a I think it's probably worse with an optic. Yeah, well, it won't melt. It'll just have to work really, really hard. All right. So, uh, obviously, in Gobblegums, we have the classic ones, which are infinite uses. And then we have the Megas, which are not infinite uses. And the way you get those is by collecting Liquid Divinium, which you get by doing random things like hitting the box or buying perks or pack-a-punching. And then you go over to Dr. Monty's factory. Here it is. Um, you see all the perks in the background. And you can either use one, two, or three. And three is the best one, obviously. Um, it's the best value. And get more Gobblegums. So, spin it up, see what we get. Soda Fountains, Sort of Slide, and Bored to Death. Soda Fountain is basically the only one of those I'd actually use. But, in fairness, they're all good. Ah. They're all good because... Um, we have Newton's cookbook, and this is where you convert, like, weaker gobblegums into stronger ones. But I don't have any to convert right now, unfortunately. Yes, we are doing a new map. There's, there's, like, there's no, no reason I'd go back on the giant. You know, I've basically shown you guys everything there is to see on that map. Um, so, we're going to be moving in chronological order. That was just something to show you guys the basics of zombies so now we're gonna go back to where it all started Nakdo and Totem. now i am definitely going to change up my gobblegums for this i really need my nose to stop being itchy i don't know why it's being itchy Might be a weird th I feel like this is going to sound absolutely like a... I'm going to sound like a lunatic by saying this. But um, it could be that when I'm breathing out my nose, it's actually... The air is bouncing up off of my facial hair and tickling my nose. I'm pretty sure that's not how air works, but... I don't know, it just... Ugh. Right, um... I'm going to get rid of Immolation. That spawns a fire cell power up. And I'm actually going to put in its place, because we need it in Nact, Crate Power. Which means that the next gun, when we get that, the next gun taken from the mystery box becomes Pack-a-Punched. And the reason I'm getting that is because there is no Pack-a-Punch on Nact. So, it's necessary. And also, instead of Unquenchable, I think I'm going to put on Soda Fountain. Yeah, fuck it. Let's have a nice, uh, fun game of Nact. And what Soda Fountain does, it uh, lets you buy an extra perk and also gives you a free perk after you buy one. So it's basically, like, unquenchable, but better. So, we're going back to where it all started. What, what toilet from Jedi Survivor? I don't remember a specific toilet from Jedi Survivor. Uh, right. Let's do this. <laughs> I 
Knack doing totem, where it all started. Oh yeah, I remember that now, yeah. And this was the first ever cutscene. This was, like... Call of Duty Zombies. They, there used to be a different word that was where Call of Duty was, but uh, that word is not allowed anymore. Because people are shit stain snowflakes right here we are in Nakdun Toten the first map ever made now the majority of the early rounds will be wait us waiting for the zombies because by god do they take a long time to get to us on this map. Come on. And we also have a different starting pistol, the M1911. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, this is obviously, um, this is obviously the remaster, so, oh, speaking of which, completely forgot. Hello, other size, I'm doing good. Oh, hey, Harvey. Ugh. Will you ever board the windows? I don't really see the point of it, to be honest. I know everyone else used to do, like, it used to be a thing that I did all the time, but, um, Right, I need to change the background because it's the giant one. Harvey, you just uh, missed a, a casual round 29 on the giant. Oh, God, what is that with my nose? Why is it so fucking itchy? I need to go dump my head in a, a bucket full of cold water. Right, so get rid of the giant. And where is Nax? Nax is right here. There we go. And I also need to briefly and quickly... Change the stream title. Training on Nactototan. And change the thumbnail. Nact, 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 nact. Bam. There we go. Right. Where were we? Not get over on. Well, that's that's the thing. Like, it's not. That's not really how zombies works. Like, you don't want to try and prevent the zombies from getting in the map. You just want to be ready for when they do. I'm also trying to think what the best strategy for the strategy that I want to do is. Because I've only actually done a good run on Nact once. And funnily enough, it is, um, you can actually, like, back in the day, I mean, I don't really know what people did back in the day, in fairness, um, but I think you can either train or camp on this map, but in the Black Ops 3 version, because it's not jank, um, you can train, you can train in this room, but I usually train in that room, but I'm just wondering which door I should open, whether I should open this door directly into the room, or whether I should go round, go up here, and then go back down. I'm trying to think. I mean, in fairness, I managed to do it, um... I think I opened this door, because opening up to upstairs would be... would allow zombies to come from a completely different way. Yeah, okay. Controller or keyboard and mouse? I'm on controller. You could probably tell. I've just always played zombies on controller. I, I don't like. I, I've briefly tried it and I hate it. It'd be something I'd have to get used to, but I've... I am good, you know, like I... 
my skill from zombies comes from playing on a controller. So playing on keyboard and mouse should probably uh, basically negate all the skill I've built up by using a controller. They make different noises in this map too. There were a lot of noises that the zombies used to make that they gradually got rid of as the games went on. Yeah. It's so pathetic, Fitz, honestly, it really is. Like, you can't fucking wash away history. It happened. They were a group. And also, they were a big part of this fucking storyline. 935 literally worked for the Nazis. Right. So, Nact is a very, 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 very small map. Like, the Giant is considered a small map. This is a tiny map. <laughs> it's a genuinely tiny map. It has three rooms. You go through here, and then you can go up there. That's literally all it is. Yes, I am a controller player. Love the sound of stepping on broken bricks. Where the fuck is this last zombie? I, I'm telling you. See, all the way over there, they spawn like 10 miles away. I swear, literally, like, all of this fucking map... All this map is, is, and he goes over there, fucking hell. Come here. All this map is, is waiting for the zombies to get to you in the early rounds. Yeah, maybe a sniper could be useful. Oh, that's useful. Guarantee you, like... I could get this when it's just about to go, and we wouldn't be able to get a single kill with it, because they take so pissing long to get to us. Yeah, this is round three. It took us this long to get to round three. Fuck it, let's rebuild some barricades, try and make use of this double points. Look, there's literally none of them. Oh, here they come. They're finally starting to run now. Right, for safety, I am going to open up the door. What's that? And I am going to buy Lakuda. Now, me and Lakuda, we go back a long way. This was a weapon I used to buy off the wall literally every single game. You can afford to triple knife and knack, because the zombies are this slow. Well, yeah, it is a it it is a World War Two map because it takes place in World War Two. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh God, itchy nose. Um. Yeah, originally, um, per it's weird, but right, because the Wonder Fizz, perks are on this map, the Wonder Fizz is upstairs, but weirdly, the only perk machine, the actual perk machine that is on this map is Milkick. I have no idea why. Of all the, the perks to put as an actual machine, it's the only one, and I don't know why. Right. I don't really want to start hitting the box until I get crate power. Soda fountain. Oh, careful. I just wanted to get the cuda so I didn't spin the box. Because 
I would have had the risk of spinning the box and getting something good and then not being able to get it pack punched. Ugh. What, soda fountain? I explain that. Um, when you buy a perk, it gives you an extra one for free and it also lets you buy a fifth perk. Actually, no, it doesn't let you buy a free perk. Like, it lets you buy four perks, not including the ones it gives you for free. Basically. Oh, the, oh Mule Kick? Oh, I get... I can't have said that, like... Well, I, I've said that, like, bloody three times now. It, it gives... It, ironic. It gives you a third weapon, as the icon suggests. Weird noises. No idea what's in there. Something spooky. Did nothing. Ah. Uh. Finally starting to make their way into the map in a timely fashion. I'll get that just for points. In plain sight, I'll take that. I'll have to replace it at some point, though, which is annoying. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. My nose is just really, really itchy. Harvey, what are you on? What are you on that the Locust is the best sniper? It's the best sniper in multiplayer. Well, that's debatable, actually, but not in not in fucking zombies. The Dracon is the best sniper in zombies, bar none. It's not even it's not even a competition. It's not even close. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's open up stairs. So, this is Nacked. It's literally all Nacked is, and down there is the room we just were. This is Nacked. That's all there is to it. This was the first map. And this is the sniper cupboard. You could buy a Locust for 5k. Major ripoff. I wouldn't pay 500. I pay 950 to get it out the box and I still feel ripped off. Widow's Wine, first hit. I probably should have taken that in fairness. I just think it's a bit too overpowered to have straight away. Then again, I really should have taken that because, uh. Because then I would have had a more powerful knife. Dead shot. No, get out of here. Get out. Ugh. I'll wait until you see crawlers fit. Alright, come on. No, oh, I need... <laughs> Anywhere but here. There's not much... There's not much else here to teleport me to. There isn't much anywhere but here. There isn't much but here. You literally use that in this map and like it'll teleport you from this room to that room. Or from this room upstairs. It is like... It's not even worth it. But it does get you out of a tough spot. Oh. They're coming through the wall! I always thought it was cool when they do barricades that aren't, like, wooden. Like, when they start ripping down the walls and stuff. And, like, in 5, they tear down the windows and stuff. Level 8 for the CUDA. Oh, 
and see if uh could have got if I would have uh given us a few more points than we would have gotten. Fifteen hundred, I'll spin that. Crate power, that's what we want. Now we can start hitting the box. Just realized we're almost out of ammo for the CUDA as well. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere but here. There is only here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, having Kratos in COD Zombies would be pretty funny. <laughs> we don't even have enough to box. I've just realized I bought Kudu ammo. In fairness, that was more important, I think. Hello? A zombie. Oh, here he comes. Level 33. Oh, I wasn't even the last one. All right. Oh. oh, you're running now. All right, spin the box. The MX Grand, are you joking? No way. Are you joking? That is... No. We've got quite a few more weapons in this box because this is in Zombie Chronicles and all the Zombie Chronicles maps have uh, more weapons. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> Boy, board the window. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he he wouldn't he wouldn't say all that fits. He'd just be like, "Boy." The window. Again, you guys know I can't do a Kratos impression. Spin the books. Man of War, our old friend. Served us well in the giant. But unfortunately, it's not what we're looking for here. Neither is that death machine, really. Um, yeah, I probably ought to spin the Wonder Fit. Oh, no, 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 not up there. Gonna have to go around. Hello. Probably ought to spin the Wonder Fit until we can get Quick Revive, because... And Jug. So I probably won't feel safe. I mean, I... Nact isn't really... Ah, there we go. Nact isn't really that anxiety-inducing. What was that? Hmm. Yeah, look how big the moon is. That's not normal. There's all those weird, creepy noises on this map. Ah. Yeah, we need Entech. I think a, a, a COD Zombies Max Steel crossover would actually be... I think that would work. Because I, I had a conversation with you guys yesterday about how I don't like most crossovers. Because most crossovers don't work. And a lot of people don't understand how to do crossovers. They just go, oh, I like this thing and I like this thing. Let's put them together even though they're not related whatsoever and don't work together. But I think... That COD Zombies and Max Steel would make a great crossover. <laughs> yeah, it's not the real moon. Gru stole it. 
Well, why is it? Why did he put a bigger one as a replacement then? Huh. I don't know. I feel like. If you didn't want people to notice that the moon was stolen, like Vector did with the pyramid, you would put a moon of equal size there. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think that'd be a good crossover. Oh, God. I mean, say it'd be cool if someone could make a max steel custom map, like, instead of the perks, like, you had, like, instead of Jog, it was turbo strength, and, uh, and stamina up was turbo speed, that'd be cool. Or maybe speed cola would be turbo speed, I don't know. Double tap could be turbo cannon. There we go. See, they're already starting to get a bit angsty. No, not the ICR. Oh, God. Ugh. And they're still taking forever to get to us. Even now. Yeah, zombie hunter mode would finally be useful. The Annihilator. I'm curious as to what happens when we take that with... Um... With fucking, uh... Crate power. I don't think it actually does anything. No, it doesn't do anything, okay. Can A be upgraded? Right. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to spin the Wonderfish, try and get Jug. Because we're alright with the Cuda for now. Got another Liquid Divinium, nice. I'll take Speed Cola. I will definitely take that. I think the four perks we want are Speed, Jog, Quick Revive, and Widows. Out of Double Tap and Widows, I think Widows is probably the better option. Merlot. Yeah, um, funnily enough, there is a tad bit of story to this map. Obviously, there wasn't when it first came out, but obviously, as a zombies map, they had to integrate it into the story. But basically, um, there was a convoy of 935 trucks, uh, transporting, uh, corpses, basically, and, uh, 115, because at this stage, um... At this stage, 935 were actually working for Nazi Germany, and, uh, I thought that me pressing X when I had a full mag was actually making a sound effect. I don't think it was. Um, but at this stage, 935 were actually making an undead army for Nazi Germany, or trying to, at least. Um... And uh, they were transporting, uh, there were a couple of trucks transporting 935, uh, um, transporting Element 115, and corpses. And then a plane, an American plane, crashed into those trucks, and there were only four survivors. And those are, those are the Marines that we play as in the original NACT. 
for some reason in this version they had us play as the main Ultimus crew that we played as throughout all of Black Ops 1. I don't really know why. Double tap. Not gonna take that. Let's go back to uh, spinning the box and let's be careful. Let's be careful. Like I said, they can get a bit angsty. There are two weapons I want. Both of them wonder weapons. That is one of them! The Raygun Mark II! Oh, we're going for a while now. Fuck yes. One of the most powerful wonder weapons ever made. And because we had crate power, I now have the pack punched version. Fuck yes. This is gonna one shot, headshot until I think about round a hundred. Probably more than that. What would the guns be in a Max Steel Zombies game? Well, Entech had those blasters, didn't they? I don't, I don't think, I mean, I'd probably just, in fairness, the Black Ops 3 guns are futuristic, so I think they'd fit as part of Entech's arsenal. Maybe you could have a wonder weapon um, that was like that gun that Jason Nort used to like freeze that dude in red ice or whatever it was, in like red crystal. I think that'd be a cool wonder weapon. Be like the Winter's Howl, but better. Oh, hello. Right. I do need more ammo for the Cuda. And I'm gonna hit the Gobblegum Machine and hit the Wonder Fizz. Sword Flay. I don't think that's gonna be any dead shot. I need Jug! I could probably hit it again before the zombies arrive. What am I talking about? I got a Mark II. I'm set. Come on. It should give me dead shot twice. What is this bollocks? This is literally Ebola. And my nose is itchy. As I'm sure you guys have figured out by now. <laughs> Yeah, Entech like Marines, yeah, probably make more sense. Yeah, you could maybe the Turbo Blaster be like, um, maybe like a buildable Turbo Blaster. There is a lot of potential to do a Max Steel custom map. Maybe if one day I have the money for it, I'll, like, commission someone to do it. I, I've sort of started getting into making custom maps, but I know that I don't really have the time to get good enough to do it. So I, it'd probably just be easier if I could, like, commission someone to do it. Right, so now... I need to wait for a, a, a gap. And the zombies. And then keep hitting the Wonderfers. Sword Flay, if uh, you didn't know, basically makes your knife like five times more powerful. Double tap again. Soda Fountain, I will take that. That'll be very helpful. Come on. Give me Jug! Although Stamina Up. I'm gonna take that. And it gave us Deadshot for free?! Are you joking? Of all the fucking perks! Double tap. No, I'm not taking it. For fuck's sake. I don't need this! 
This is why I don't like Soda Fountain. Yeah, I don't really think that sounds like something that a perk would do. Ah. I can't believe we got dead shot. So irritating. Means we can't, um, we can't, uh, replace Soda Fountain until we get a, oh, that'll help at least. We can't replace Soda Fountain until we've used it up. I mean, we can, but I don't want to because then it'd be a waste. So let's work on getting more points to hit the Wonder Fizz at the end of this round. It just really puts me on edge that we do not have Jog right now. What? Things to go run out. How did I miss so many of those fucking shots? Are you the last zombie? No. No more coming. Are you the last zombie? Are you the last zombie now? Oh yeah, like Tommy Jarvis, yeah. Again, I don't really think that fits with COD Zombies. It's not really, I think, something that fits the style of game mode. It's given me double tap like three separate times. Can you pissing give me Jug? This is a joke. This is genuinely not even funny. There we go. Give me Jug. Widows, I'll take it. And he gave me double tap. I swear to God, this Wonder Fizz is trying to pick a fight with me. We still can buy another one, though, and that has to be Jug. Oh, my God. Ugh, my nose is itchy. I don't like it. Right. <laughs> yeah, just like, no, I knew all these people. Step aside, bitch. <laughs> you fucking gun down the TI the THI employees. Oh, God. And this is what Widows does. It's a life-saving perk. And you get the grenades back by picking up those drops. Oh shit. Oh, there's a max ammo there. Could not have come at a more opportune time. All those points. So yeah, there's literally nothing more to the story other than this place was just where four marines tried to hold out and survive. I shouldn't have killed that last zombie. Um, and they ended up dying in here, I'm pretty sure, so... Yes, finally, Jug. And I got Mule Kick! Okay. 
Well, just so I know what my third gun is, let me just buy the Argus. That's always a thing you should do, bef like, when you get Mule Kick. Buy a third weapon so you can choose uh, what you want to get rid of, basically. Like, if you go down, you lose that weapon, so... I don't know why I just hit the box, because that was that was really dumb. If I'd have gotten something good, then I wouldn't have been able to get it pack-punched. I'm going to say that it probably was not the Peacekeeper from Apex, but... Oh god, we're out of ammo again. Is that really necessary? Did he really hit me there? Bam. So many points. Oh god. Oh, piss off. Right, now we can try and hit for a, uh, well, ah, god fucking hell. Blah. We are actually going to leave the stream there, because it is three hours, I'd stream for three hours. I'm not going to end the game, because this is a pretty decent game for me, so I'm probably going to keep playing off camera. Oh, I forgot to show. I have the shirt, my Perkaholic shirt. It's my COD Zombie shirt. i got to represent. That was hollow. Uh, <laughs> So we are going to end the stream there. Um, it's been very, very fun. I'm looking forward to uh, coming back and uh, playing more of this. I swear the maps do get a lot more in-depth than what I've shown you today. Um, a lot more exciting, a lot more high-octane, with a lot more shit to them. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's basically all I've got for you guys for this week. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Um, did I put it in the description? Let me briefly check. Got to check something. Um, I did. Uh, go and join both the casual Discord and the COD Zombies unofficial Discord, both of which in the description down below. Um, and yeah. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Join me next Tuesday for more God of War. Next Wednesday for... Uh, more of the Trail Frontier Challenge next Friday for more Minecraft and next Saturday for more of this. We'll be moving on to Verukt next week. That is a hard map. I guarantee you we will not last very long on that map. So, um, thanks a lot for watching everyone and I will see you on another video or stream very, very soon. I'm going to go bathe my face in cold water. Hopefully it will stop my nose from itching. For some godly reason. I don't know why it's itching so much uh, tonight. But thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you on another video or stream very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for stopping by.